I often think about how, despite humans existing for hundreds of thousands of years, against all odds, I was somehow born in this specific time period. I've existed alongside some of the greatest technological advancements in human history. I lived to see massive improvements in video game technology, the rapid rise of the internet, and the unveiling of the first iPhone, which changed our society as a whole. And I grew up alongside some of the greatest media that humankind has ever created. I also managed to exist in the same time period as Shamshun. My history with this game starts with this post from Bootleg Stuff on Twitter, posted on July 16th, 2017. It was a screenshot of the Google Play Store listing for this game. The only information that it contained was the title, Shamshun, the developer, Smart Solutions, EST, whatever that means, and the tagline, Shamshun Try to Eat the Burger. And of course, you can't ignore the photos. They speak for themselves, really. This is the perfect image, and you cannot convince me otherwise. As this was 2017, sending random memes to people wasn't exactly considered weird yet. So I sent the screenshot to a group chat. The response was that I should play Shamshun, seeing as I was the only person in the group that had an Android phone. So I opened up the Google Play Store, only to find that it had been delisted already. Sad. Of course, this is Android. This is a platform that isn't limited to the confines of a walled garden, and you can find basically any app archived on some sketchy APK website. But there was a catch. I was actually on vacation at Lake Tahoe at the time, and I didn't have the most stable internet connection, so I told myself that I'd hunt for an APK once I got back home. But once I got home, I didn't download Shamshun. I didn't look for Shamshun. I didn't even think about Shamshun. This game faded from the memory of both myself and my group of friends, and none of us brought it up ever again. Until January 2019. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea why the memory of this image resurfaced, but one way or another, I ended up mentioning Shamshun again to a friend group that was much larger in size now, and I was once again urged to experience Shamshun for myself. Not wanting to let this game slip through the cracks of our collective memories, once again, I set out to find an APK. This was fate. This was my destiny. And I would stop at nothing to fulfill it. Within seconds, I found a website that had backed up the APK, and soon after that, I had Shamshun installed on my personal companion device. Immediately, regret started to set in. What had I just done? I had just installed this APK, one containing an app that had been delisted from Android's primary marketplace, on a device that I carry everywhere with me. This app could very likely be hiding some sort of malware, and me installing it on a device connected to the network could be like opening Pandora's box. But on the other hand, I was excited. After two years, I could finally say that I had tried Shamshun for myself. Would he succeed in eating the burger? Well, the only way to find out was to launch the app. And at that moment, my life was changed forever. Alright, I'll cut it out now. This is Shamshun. I didn't know this until finding an old Reddit post about it, but Shamshun is actually the localized name for Plankton in the Arabic version of Spongebob. And of course, this information is only relevant due to the beautifully crafted background that's visible at all times, showing the titular Shamshun, who's for some reason had his eyebrow and antennas removed. It transforms this devious piece of stock plankton art into this amazing depiction of pure joy. I aspire to one day be as happy as Shamshun while trying to eat the burger. Speaking of which, also displayed on the title screen is the fabled burger itself, putting its tongue on full display and flipping back and forth. Tapping the burger brings us straight into the action. The gameplay loop of Shamshun is quite simple. Hundreds of burgers are cascading down the screen, all flipping back and forth, and it's your job to try to eat them. So naturally, tapping one makes it explode. I can see why Shamshun only tries to eat the burger. Maybe I'm the antagonist here? Can Shamshun eat the burger if I stop tapping them? Well, I guess I'm not supposed to do that. If you let a burger reach the bottom of the screen, the screen will flash and you lose a heart. And if you lose all of your hearts... <laughs> that happens. <laughs> I love this game so much. Be prepared to see that screen a lot. This game may be simple, but it's deceptively hard. At the start, the burgers only need one tap before they explode, but quickly, these larger burgers show up, and defeating these requires multiple taps. You'll quickly get overwhelmed by the cascade of burgers and will succumb to the ridicule of Shamshun. 
What starts off as a simple game of tapping burgers quickly turns into a frenzy of mashing your screen with all of your fingers in the sheer hope that you'll be able to stop this delicious army. But alas, you cannot hold them back forever. I haven't even mentioned the best part of this game yet. The music. Upon launching this app, you're greeted with this masterpiece, known simply as springmelody.mp3. And it's omnipresent throughout the entire Shamshan experience. This short, imperfect loop, repeating forever. You can turn it off from the title screen, but you'd have to be an absolute monster to do that. I'd assume that the song is stolen from some sort of stock music library, but I haven't managed to find it. If someone knows the source of springmelody.mp3, please tell me. I have to know. Alright then, it's an obscure lackluster mobile game that's been forgotten for years. Why do you care about it so much? Oh, I haven't even touched on the most interesting part yet. Upon starting up Shamshun for the first time, I was surprised to be greeted by a Google Play Games prompt. Shamshun got the burger. Yes! <laughs> That's right, this game has leaderboards, and they're still online. This is what kept my friends and I coming back to this game. Not only would we compete to beat each other's scores, but we could very realistically compete for the top spot on the global leaderboards. I mean, it's not like anyone else was going for it. So, for a short period of time, while the 4'9 kids were smoking weed around the corner, like three of us in my friend group were competing for the Shamshun world record during lunch. Two years after the game was delisted. And now I'm talking about it three years after that. A full five years after it was delisted. And like I said, the leaderboards are still up. If my memory serves me correctly, one of my friends either got first or second place on the leaderboard at some point, but to my surprise, that's no longer the case. Somehow, despite all odds, people are still playing Shamshun to this day. The current Shamshun world record is 293, held by Bigfoot4684, and who knows if some crazy person will be able to push this farther in the future. As long as the Google Play game servers are still online, the competitive nature of Shamshun can live on. Mobile games like this are really funny to me though. It's such a simple game, but it managed to get 10,000 downloads at the time of the original screenshot. Surely thanks in no small part to the allure of that picture of Plankton. But like, this game couldn't have taken long to make at all, right? I could probably make a game like this myself. I had that thought before sitting down to write this script, but then I realized, oh god, I really could make this myself, couldn't I? I did it in one sitting. It's not exactly the same, and it doesn't have online leaderboards, but this is like 80% of the Shamshan experience right here. Is this what it's like to be a mobile game developer? Just looking at other people's ideas and slapping together a finished product in a matter of hours? Do I have what it takes? 